I've been advising the people of Mahara um, on how they can become the first new country in the Middle East. And I am very happy to work with these people. They're very lovely people, great spirits, great heart, and they really want to uh, change their country in a very positive, but also green and sustainable way. So Mahara is a very interesting area. It is south of Saudi Arabia. It is north of the Gulf of Eden. It is east of Yemen and it is west of Oman. And currently 200,000 Maharans live in the area and one million of them work and live outside the area. So they want to develop their economy. They have oil and gas, but they want to develop it sustainably. They have a very good um, ocean, lots of fish, um, again, they want to develop that business and they have a good agriculture business. So I have said that we will work with them and with the United Nations to transform Mahara into the 196 UN country. We will agree a constitution with them and I have proposed that they have 20 cabinet members they have one vote for each Maharan, for the people that they want to run the country. And there's a lot of good leaders in the country and outside the country that can participate. I have suggested that we have 10 women and 10 men who will encompass all the different things that a Mahara has to think about in terms of going forward. And I've also suggested that we partner with the elders so that we get 20 retired uh, cabinet ministers from around the world who have faced the same issues in their countries that Mahara has to face now so that they can partner with the new ministers and help guide them and mentor them and coach them into growing their economy. I think it, it's very important for these emerging countries and emerging uh, activities to have the support from people who've been there, got the t-shirt, made the movie, but also to have the fresh approach to what they want to do for themselves. So it's a beautiful um, country, a beautiful area, and the people really want to be the change that they want to see in the world. So I've asked President Obama and the G20 the, and the United Nations to support the people of Mahara 1.2 million of them in forming the first new country in the Middle East with a democratic policy, with equality for all, and a green and sustainable economic development.